Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back to Period 6 Design. Today I'm actually doing something a little different. This video was highly requested and it's to show you guys how to hand turn. Um, so I'm actually not going to be doing a voiceover. I'm going to actually talk you guys through it. That way, just as I'm doing things, I can explain it to you as opposed to trying to speed through and try to get everything into a certain amount of time. And I want to start with a 6x6x6 six by six by six box and you can just pick these up at Walmart. They're like 50 cents, but I think maybe 58 cents. But they're super cheap um, and you're going to need some tape some scissors, and a Sharpie, which I need to grab. And a Sharpie. And your, I think this is one inch PVC pipe, but you can just get this at the store um, and they will cut it for you, so yeah. So, the first thing you're gonna want to do is tape the bottom of the box closed. And what this is gonna do, is really just give you like a sturdy uh, base to work on while we cut the holes in the box. So you can wait to do this till you're done, but I like to go ahead and do this now. And like even um, once you buy like an actual spinner, you can still keep this. And I used I used to use my old one when I was still in New Orleans as a drying rack. So this is really good to use as a drying rack. So. You want, actually I'm gonna get my ruler too, hold on. I couldn't find my ruler, but my tape measure was close. Um, so you want this to pretty much be, the hole to be center, in the center of the box. So the box is six by six. So it seems like it's a little over if you can see that. But I'm still gonna mark a spot, what I think is the middle, three inches right there. And then come in from this side and three right here. So this is actually the middle right there. So three. And then three. So I'm actually going to just do that. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So now you should have a hole on each side of your box. And what we're gonna do, we're literally just gonna take our scissors and kind of just be very careful when you do this. See, I have my hand on the inside of the box. My hand is up against this wall. This is the wall next to, adjacent to the hole. That way when I'm going through, I'm not gonna stab my finger or my whole hand for that matter. And you don't want to open it up too much because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the PVC pipe to kind of force the hole to size. And I'm going to just repeat the same thing on the other side. All right. So next you want to just take this PVC and so just kind of force it through there. And I'm gonna come back. So I'm gonna try to open up. This one's a little small. Open it up just a little bit more. Hmm. Another one to go. be able to just thread it straight through oh take a little force but it's okay so now you just threaded it through the other side and now you have a box so to finish this part off I'm gonna just tape the box completely closed 
time being. this is what you're gonna use to spin. And I'm gonna show you how to do that next. All right, you guys, so for the next part, you're gonna to wanna to prep your workspace. Since you are hand spinning, um, you wanna make sure you pick a comfy place in your house to do this because you're gonna be sitting next to whatever you're doing for hours. So this is actually like our fireplace stand in our house and our TV is right there. And I'm actually just pulled up a chair from our dining room. Because again, I'm gonna be sitting here for hours doing this hand spinning and so i'm gonna just take this garbage bag to make sure i don't get anything on my nice little furniture and i'm gonna bring oh sorry about that I'm trying to get my camera straight set straight and i'm gonna bring our hand spinner over here so um i think it's best you could put it like this but my surface is that why so i'm gonna put it on one end like this so since it's gonna happen and i'm gonna be turning from this end and my cup is gonna be on this other end. And so now we have to worry about balancing the weight for what we're spinning. You guys, sorry about that. I got a phone call from my family. So the next thing we're gonna worry about is making sure our weight is balanced on our box. So if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to make this, this is all made using Dollar Tree glitter, Mod Podge, or Dollar Tree cup, and this is Dollar Tree football. Um, so I will link that up in the cards and also in the description box below if you're interested. But this cup is just covered in Mod Podge. And so since you guys requested um, a hand turning tutorial, which is an affordable way to epoxy without having to buy a hand turner, just in case you want to do these just for like gifts or anything like that, you weren't planning on needing to do a lot, and you didn't want to pay like someone like me to make you a tumbler, this is how you can do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the end of, just make sure I squeeze it on there really good, on the end of this. Now you see, now it's tipping. So I have a tutorial on these, but this is just a wine glass also with a football on it. And I'm gonna just, it's gonna be out of frame, um, but I'm just sticking it on the other end in order to balance out the box. And so let me show you from this angle. So now you can see they're both floating in the air. And so this will enable me to come and spin on this end while turning that on the other end. So you gotta make sure you keep it balanced so they stay like that. So next I'm gonna prepare my epoxy and I'll be back to talk to you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. I have cracked my uh, balcony door just to get some ventilation going. I mixed in my epoxy about 25 minutes ago. Why so long, you ask? Because epoxy starts to set up. And so when you're hand spinning, the problem you're gonna encounter is that your epoxy is gonna be very liquidy and it's still actually pretty liquidy. I could probably stand away probably 10 more minutes, which I think I actually probably will. Um, so actually I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes and we're gonna keep the conversation going. Going you with a flick of her wrist. So I'm and going to pause you. And that's just a tip to everyone else. You might wanna put on something that you're gonna wanna watch for a few hours because you're gonna be sitting for a few hours. So it's been about 35 minutes and it's nice and a lot thicker now. So normally, like once I get done mixing, um, I would immediately go into the process of epoxying. But because we're hand turning, we want to make sure that it's not liquidy because what I've experienced in the past when hand turning is when I immediately go into um, coating once I've mixed is that it's so runny and it's so watery and you're literally having to spin it like this to keep it from getting everywhere. So when you spin it, when it's a little thicker, cause it's gonna self level anyway. So when you spin it when it's a little thicker, 
um, you can turn it a little more slowly. So essentially, I'm going to coat this in epoxy and I'm going to just start turning somewhere between this end and the, and the opposite end. Um, you kind of can't see it, but there's some space right here between the cup and where I can grab my hand at, so where I can spin it at. Um, so yeah, that's essentially all that I'm about to do. So I'll leave in some footage from that just so you guys can see it, but that's all that's going on. So let's get to hand turning. So, and it's, it's kind of interesting because you, you literally need a third hand. Um, so I'm gonna, my goal is to always keep my left hand clear because that's the hand I'm always gonna have to turn with. And so I'm gonna, what essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put epoxy on, drop the cup, move it around, spin it, epoxy on, turn the cup, move it around. So that's all I'm about to do. So unfortunately, like my other video, if you have a turner, you can do the drop and catch method because it's just, no one's hands can move that fast. So you're gonna see me kinda just take my time and just put it on here. So just putting it on and then I'm gonna just work it and it's nice and thick so you see it's not really going all over the place which is nice because again if you would have did this when you first mix the epoxy it would be it would literally just fall right over the sides of the cup but because now it's nice and thick because you let it set up some and I think the working life I'm still using the Illumina Illuma lights I believe the working life for the Aluma lights is about 45 minutes. So we're almost to the working light point where it's really gonna start to like set up from the chemical reaction between the resin and the hardener. Um, so like I said, that's perfectly fine because when you're working by hand, you don't wanna have to spend all your time spinning it during the working life. So, and you still have enough time um, with the, the say 10 minute window to get it on here and get it nice and smooth and another good thing about letting it sit for all that time is that it kind of aerates itself and a lot of bubbles um, have time to come to the surface and kind of pop themselves so it's another good thing so make sure I don't you know everybody doesn't necessarily use the Aluma lights which is fine but just make sure you read the working life of whatever epoxy you are using so you know kind of what your window is and you want to just give yourself 10 to 15 minutes left and what the stated working window is in order to get the epoxy on the cup I just have one little piece and I mix 20 mils of each side of the resin and the hardener in case you were wondering which I always mix too much that's just how it goes <laughs> um and if I was uh, had anything to glitter I would just use that extra in glitter but when you're hand turning that's kind of not an option it's a little dry right there because you kind of have to and it's really starting to set up now um you're all, all your attention is on this cup, so you don't really have the time and opportunity to switch between projects. That's why I say make sure you, you've you turned on something that you like to watch. Does anyone else watch this show, You, that's on Netflix? I'm not usually a bandwagon person, but I kept seeing the memes with the guy Joe, and I didn't really understand them. And finally, my sister was like, you don't watch You? And I'm like, no, I've never even heard of You. I just keep seeing the memes with this guy. She was like, no, you have to watch it. And so I'm going to just use this extra and kind of just put it on here. Um, and so, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I know when people watch like Game of Thrones and Power, like I've just never really been able to get into it because again, I'm not a bandwagon person. I like the shows that I like. Um, I'm like, like, like I'm a 90 day fiance, love after lockup kind of person when it comes to TV mixed in with like the Golden Girls and Bob's Burgers. Um, so 
I don't really diversify my television shows too much, but it came at the urging of my sister, so this time I thought I'd actually give it a try because I work what they call a 980, um, so I'm off every other Friday, and I work nine hour days over two for nine days over a two week period to get my 80 hours, and so yeah, I didn't have anything to do on my off Friday, so I started watching it, and it's been a really interesting show. So essentially, all you're gonna do now is really just sit here and spin it. Again, my goal was to keep this hand clean, which I was able to do successfully. And now I'm just gonna spin it. Um, and so you still, you can, if you have a heat gun, you can go ahead and blast it. But the assumption, my assumption is, if you're hand spinning, you more than likely don't have a heat gun, which is completely fine because again, we gave that epoxy time to aerate. So I'm just gonna go along the bottom of the cup and get any epoxy that may have been on the bottom. I'm gonna just rip off a little piece because I know I came above. And up here it doesn't really matter. You just wanna make sure it's not coming too far above the glitter. And you can see the spots like right there um, where it kind of came too far up. All right, you guys, and literally, this is all I'm fixing to do. Um, and so, again, usually when I used to hand turn before I realized that I could wait for my epoxy to set up, I would literally have to spin it like this, trying to make sure the epoxy wasn't falling off. But again, now that we waited the time and that epoxy has set up quite a bit, you just gotta spin it, I would say spin it at about like this. I'm just doing like quarter turns every second, every two seconds. Um, and I would spin it like this when I get to this point for about an hour. And then on what used to be my third hour, but it's not my second hour, I'll just do the, I'll do half spins. So I would spin it like halfway around every, um, say minute or so. So, but like I said, right now, I'm still at the point where I'm making sure it's gonna level out, making sure that, you know, it'll be even. So I'm just gonna sit here like this, rest my hand up here, um, and just make sure I keep it moving. And that's it, you guys, that's all you have to do. That's, that is hand spinning, literally. Um, and so just some more tips while we're here before I cut off the video is that like I said, you're gonna do, you're just gonna spin it like this for about two to three hours. Usually my my time is about three hours of me actively spinning it and being like sitting next to it like this. And then after about that three hour, two to three hour mark, I will, you know, resume my day and go about what I have to do. And like I said, coming back every, you know, you get to a point where you like every one minute you can do the half turn. And then, you know, every about five minutes, you can do a half turn until eventually, usually about around hour six. Um, there, you don't have to, you know, touch it or do anything. The, the epoxy is pretty much set. It's not going anywhere. And then by hour eight, you could actually touch it and you can see that it's fully cured. But again, I always say let your cups sit 24 hours before you actually use them or anything, which is what I like to do. So that's my own. Those are my tips so far, you guys. And like I said, just make sure you're balanced on your other end. And you can spin it from this end, you can spin it from this end, it doesn't really matter, but just keep that cup moving so that the epoxy doesn't puddle in one place and you won't have like a line of epoxy going down your cup. You wanna just keep it moving. Um, yeah, and if you're really gangster, you could epoxy the cup that's on the other end too at the same time. I don't recommend that if you're, you're new to hand turning because I've done it, oopsie, I'm talking too much. Um, I've done it before, this is gonna self-level out, don't worry about that. Um, because I've done it before, and you just have to be very attentive, and I'm not the most attentive person, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, so any comments or questions you see, it's already leveling out. So don't even, if something like that happens, you guys don't even worry about it. Just keep turning, it's gonna self-level out because that's what the epoxy does. Um, but if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, Please, please, please leave them below. You guys, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to sound appreciative. I'm glad y'all are here learning with me and going on my crafting journey. But if you want to ask a question, at least hit that subscribe button. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the least you could do is give your girl, you know, a little sub. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment, all those good things. Any comments, questions, please leave them below. I hope this video was as helpful as it can be. Um, and just let me know below if this video was helpful, if it's kind of what you were looking for, if it wasn't what you were looking for, um, if, if you're actually going to try to do this, if this is kind of the next step, but you didn't want to buy a turner and you wanted to do this, just let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright you guys, so this is the final product. As you can see, the epoxy is nice and smooth and fully coated. And actually it's only been about 15 hours. You can see I'm able to touch it. It's not sticky or anything. If you mix it properly, it won't be sticky. Um, so you can see it's nice and smooth. I'll just turn it on the side so you can see there's no bumps, no lumps. Didn't use a heat gun, didn't use a blow dryer. Just took my time and just let it self level as it does. So yeah. Just follow my tips like waiting for the um, epoxy to set up before you use it and just take your time keeping it on a steady spin and you will get the same results. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.